Hi everybody, this is God's Girl G, and thank you so much for joining me today. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome! And for those of you returning to my channel to watch this video and you're not already subscribed, I'm going to encourage you to do so by clicking the subscribe icon below. That way you won't miss any of the videos that I upload, which I do try to do on a weekly basis. And if during the course of this video you hear something that you like, click the thumbs up, comment below, or better yet, share this video with someone who you feel could benefit from this information. With that stated, let's get into today's discussion. Okay, as part of my wrap up to the month of November where I'm celebrating a milestone, I want to share five things that you may or may not know about me. Um, so this is in my effort to reveal just a little bit more about myself, but not too much. Okay, with that, so here are top five. They're not in any particular order, but here we go. Number one, I'm actually an introvert. Um, most people that I end up talking with, working with, they would swear up and down that I am an extrovert, but I am not, I'm an introvert. And the long story to that is um, I started my journey of becoming a little bit more extroverted um, during certain times like at work or when I was in school uh, because I started seeing people who were successful in the field of work that I wanted to perform in, they were more extroverted. And many times in order to show yourself friendly, collaborative, cooperative, and things of that nature, you do have to be more extroverted. And so the journey to being more extroverted, it was a very, very long one. Uh, because it's exhausting. Uh, for those of you who are introverts know, uh, being an extrovert is exhausting. So I am an introvert, but I display extrovert tendencies uh, when I have to. Number two, I don't eat lamb. And I hope some of you will be blessed by this story. Um, and hopefully you'll be saved, healed, and delivered by the time you hear this story. I'm explain why I don't eat lamb. Um, so I grew up uh, in, uh, in a home where my mom, she, we went to church all the time. Whenever the church doors was open, we were there in church, okay? And so I remember, I think it was around Easter. We was at, I was at Sunday school, I was in Sunday school class. I had to probably be around seven years old, okay? And um, I, went to Sunday school and they start talking about this little lamb who was taken to the slaughter. And they talked about how Mary had a little lamb and that lamb was Jesus, okay? And so I felt so bad that this little baby lamb would end up taking on the sins of the world, of course, Jesus. But my little kid mind, I could just think of this little cute little fluffy lamb, okay? Coincidentally, that same Sunday, my mom splurged and got lamb chops for dinner. Y'all know where the story's going. <laughs> so we are sitting down to eat. Now the lamb chops kind of look like pork chops, but not really, because my mom would make really good pork chops. And I was like, well, you know, me being the inquisitive child that I was, I said, you know, mom, mama, what is this? And she said, oh, these are lamb chops. And of course, I couldn't go no further. And I remember looking at her and saying, but Jesus was the lamb of God. And in my mind, how can you eat lamb when Jesus was the lamb of God? And it was a sin to me to eat that lamb meat. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. My mom, who was a stickler, on you better eat what I prepared, you better eat what I cooked. She couldn't even argue <laughs> with what I said because I think she saw the conviction in my heart and on my face because Jesus was the Lamb of God. And I took seriously that Sunday school lesson and that Sunday school lesson followed me throughout my adult. And so when I hear people saying they eat lamb, I just associate you, you're eating Jesus. Jesus was the Lamb of God. How can you comfortably eat lamb when Jesus is the Lamb of God? 
And so that's why I don't eat lamb. I'm just that conviction from childhood has followed me. My husband to this day, he thinks it's funny. My husband likes lamb, but I'm convicted with eating lamb. So that's why I don't eat lamb. Anywho, number three, um, I ended up going to prom um, with a blind date. Um, long story short, I went to an all white school where there was maybe one or two minorities, me being the second minority. Um, and so there were not any people of color that were men or boys that went to my school. And back when I went to high school, it was taboo to date interracially. And my parents also had some issues with that that they have since repented on. Mama, don't worry about it, it's all right. We already talked about this, but Anyway, um, couldn't find anybody to go to prom with. I did try to talk to somebody from my church who I felt comfortable with, and I said, no strings attached, but just be my date. They ended up backing out. To this day, my understanding, there's, there was some other complications. I think he was seeing somebody. I don't know. I didn't know that at the time. So needless to say, three days before the prom, um, the person that I had asked to take me and just escort me to the prom, they backed out. So of course that made me feel horrible, made me feel like really, really, I must be that ugly if somebody doesn't even want to just escort me to the prom. But one of my friends knew someone from another school that was an African American man. And um, still, uh, we were in the same grade. Um, at the time I was a senior. Not a, I didn't go to the junior prom, I went to the senior prom. And he graciously, I think sight unseen, agreed to take me to the prom. And he was so sweet and so kind. His name was Mike. I can't remember his last name, but he was so sweet to do that. Um, so I went to, yeah, and so I didn't get a lot of dates. I did not date, actually. I may have gone out on maybe two dates, three dates. In my high school career, I didn't really start going out on dates until college because I didn't realize that there were people that would want to date me. I didn't know that at the time because when you go to an all-white school at a time when it was very taboo to interracial date, you just don't know. So anyway, that's another interesting thing about me. Number four, I'm scared of clowns. I'm, I'm really scared of clowns and it's legitimate. So I don't know why. I'm scared of clowns. I just know that it that is don't make sense for people, grown people to put on uh, that type of, of makeup and they're silent and mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't do clowns. I remember going to the Universal Soul Circus and I remember sitting there and my thing is, is I didn't want to get too close. I'm okay with all of the other circus acts, but you bring out a clown and I think I'm more scared of the clown than I am of the lions and you know, tigers and bears. And um, I just don't do clowns. And the clown was going back and forth in the audience and he kind of looked over at me. It's a short little clown. And he looked over at me and I said, don't come over here. I don't, I wouldn't do that. And, and he started to like, oh, I'm gonna play, you know, you know, she looked like she, she wants to, you know, have jokes and stuff like that. And I said, uh-uh, no, 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 see, see, no, that's what, we're not gonna do that. And see, I had this look on my face, mm-mm, mm-mm. And so he kind of started and he kind of backed up. Cause I ain't playing, I don't play with clowns. See, they, they scary, they don't make no sense. I think clowns are of the devil. Uh, this makes no rhyme or reason to kind of have makeup on like that. The makeup don't even match. I mean, you gonna, instead of putting lipstick on, you gonna put it around the lips. That don't make no sense. That don't make no kind of sense in this world that we live in. So I don't do clowns and right up there with clowns is dentists. I don't like dentists either. I go to the dentist because I like having white teeth and clean teeth and things of that nature. But I let them know I don't like you and I'm the one that needs a little tiny pill. See, when they do those little procedures because I don't do well with things like that. I just, I just don't. I'm high maintenance when it comes to the dentist and they know that, they know that. They know that little fact about me, all right? So that's another fact about me. And the last fact about me that I'm willing to share, I do have a sense of humor. 
I cannot tell you how many times when I get, you know, personal emails that say sometimes, you know, you act like you just real strict. And so I'm like, no, 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 I do have a sense of humor. And when I get a hold of a joke or a moment, I milk it for all it's worth. I milk all the humor that I can get out of that. Um, so I do have a sense of humor. It's a weird sense of humor because I find a lot of church stuff is humorous. I will uh, make fun, I will have stories, and I love to laugh and have fun because I honestly think that helps keep you young, it helps keep you vibrant laugh and laugh often, all right? So those are some interesting facts about me that hopefully you find interesting uh, today, keeping it a little lighthearted, all right? So thank you so much for joining me today, and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Bye.